여러분 안녕하세요. 여러분 안녕하세요. Okay, so the third one, the third one is when um, we write the niem, biu, real, and also the pia. So we have to remember to write them the proper way. So for example, we all know man, what is biu? Okay, this is how it should be written following the proper stroke, no? So we have to follow the proper stroke like that. Okay, and uh, make sure it's straight class. And also, it's not okay that there will be some kind of overlapping. For example, this is uh, what's going to happen to your... No, this is... If, if this will happen to your character, you can find it like this. This is wrong. Okay, so make sure you execute it properly or you follow the stroke and write properly. Okay, so it has only three strokes, okay? So this is the first stroke, the second, third, and make sure no overlapping of uh, lines. Okay, so this is our medium. Next is for the bia. So you have to make sure that when you write it, you write it this way, no? Like somehow the the kind of square thing that you can find, you makita there is na asha kaninga line there. It should be like in the middle um, between this one and also the one na naasa ibaw. So very pwede class ng kanisha, okay? Ana na, okay? Nagamay na lang kaysa na ba makita na to there is wrong. And then it could be the nakani ana no this is wrong so it should be like this okay uh, by the way circle in Korea um, the Korean context it means correct while the X of course it means wrong so in any unit of right okay it should be written this way and also so this is circle meaning this is the correct one okay so gamu the circle can you check how this is the uh, Philippine in the Philippine context, you know, let's use circle. So another that you have to remember is when you write real. Okay, real. When you write real, it will be like this. This is the first stroke, the second stroke, and then we have the third stroke. So dapat balance at siya. Dili pwede class na uban ba? This is the first, right? Okay, and then the second. Yuban ana? No, <laughs> not too much. Huh? It should be like there is balance. Okay, like that. You can write it that way. Okay, so this is our real, real, okay, real. And also when we write the PIO, so this is correct way. And also when we write the PIO, we have to begin it here and then here. Okay, I remember the PIO should be smaller. I said, I, uh, I also commit this mistake yeah? when I write, for example, um, for example, plus uh, a syllable, and then I will partner it with an a, ah, so it will become pa, pa. So when I write it, um, I, I have a tendency, so when you partner it with pa, so it will be written like this, no? or smaller lang din ganit siya, so not, not, not too on. So this will be smaller. Okay, but in my case, I have the tendency to actually, you know, have the P of bigger, which is wrong. Okay, so for example, in Hana, no, we have to make it small. Huh? But the, of course, if we write on paper, so small. Okay, pa. So not not write it like this way. Okay, and then no, we have to have a P of really smaller, uh, a bit smaller, of course, you know, it's how it's, you know, executed. Okay, so don't forget also the stroke. Okay, the stroke, we started here, and then here, and then here. Okay, so this is, um, I, again, uh, by the way, always remember that the gamay niyang branch, it should really just be short, not really long. Because others might write it this way, okay? This is wrong, so you have to write it this way, okay? Smaller. So, 
This is now how you should execute meum, 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 real, and peum. Okay. So some of the consonants that I find it, you guys have kind of issues. So I hope that you are clarified and you find this um, item really useful because we really have to, as what I told you, kinahanglan din natin correct ang atong mga mistakes. You know what? It's not a problem if we commit mistakes because it only needs class that we are learning a language because you commit mistakes. When you don't commit mistakes, it means wala mo nagkatun. It means you don't do something para makatun mo ang mga language or even not language, you know, in life in general. And also, um, there is this three words that should really be our mantra that we are here to learn and learn and relearn. So, magkatunta. And because even kung ang lagi tayong mga sayong na makatundan, so it should, when we know that it's wrong, our, the thing that we should do is unlearn it. And when we know that what is the correct, then we have to relearn. Okay? So, another thing para sa video, the I said, no, wala na ko na api. Inigrite din yung class. Dili po pwede ha, na ana siya. Okay? Walay overlap. Okay? So, no overlapping. This is how you're going to execute it. Should be done nicely and cleanly. Okay? And also, since mga beginners mita, when you write in the paper, notebook, in your module, make sure na naka-pencil para in case you have, you know, some mistakes or namoy mga erasures, inyo na kung ma-erase kay kung ball pen, the tendency is it would be very um, dirty and maybe you keep on printing or what's going to happen if naka-print mo or na namoy print and copy na nahatag sa inyo ha and then you messed, you messed it up because of you are using a pen. Okay, so this is the third one which is the meo, bio, and then the pio. So I hope it's clear. The, how you should write these three. So just to give you a clean uh, paralympia lang. So we have here this one. Okay, mu, mu, and then we have okay, dapat mugo ni siya center. Mu, and then we have um, real And we have the okay here. Pagabot na iba tayo pagabot dery dery may na nung sa atong tarungon ang size. Di man sa nisha pari na. Okay. So anyway, wala matagi partner nila class na um, wala tayi partner from Avalo. So for the sake na makita niyo ba? How it's done? How it's done correctly? Okay. So these are now our characters. So this is the third item. So let's move on now to the fourth. The fourth item that I would like to clarify is nakabantay ko or nakabantay niya inig suwat din yung class. Kaya nga ako sa model kani dito. Example: You guys are writing iyong. Okay, yung na sa model na ay mura gamay diha nga line na pumura ko kayo siya na mura na siya orange or apple no? but na agyud siya and I know this na sa agyud I'm not saying na wala so the tendency is what you did is you copy the course no? you copy this kind of um, uh, you know the small line that is attached on top and for example, also I noticed kanin din yung niyan, okay, you also write it this way because a model nakita din yung niyan, right? So the thing is, um, for clarification lang, that is a font style. Na ay ingon ana tungon sa font style, it's because of the font style. But this is not recommended for us to use. Nga naman class, um, it's quite difficult to execute. Imbis ko at puro na hinuog, lain tanaw, so, we should just write it this way, no? Ang iyong na to, circle lang, yung Okay, one stroke. Okay, no other stroke. Mag-ibog pa kagamay line, yung haong top. So, just like that. And also, no 
smaller line or short line, very short line, but just do like this. Okay? This is how you're going to write it. Not only in for Ian and Nian, even other um, characters, no need for that. It's because of the font style, but we don't have to follow that font style. Okay? So this is the, um, the fourth item that I would like to clarify. Don't write or don't follow this font style. As uh, since we are beginners, we have just we will just follow you know the easier path, and this is the easier path. Okay. In a way, even Koreans are using or writing this way. So why should we write in a way that it's not favorable to us, right? So now we'll proceed to the next, the fifth item that I would like to clarify to everyone is the. Um, the compound vowels. So, uh, actually, upat ni sila kabupan uh, compound vowels ya ako i-clarify based on um, the way nga ako nakita na bisuhat din yun. So, the, what are, what do I mean by these four compound vowels? Kanisha. Okay. Kaning ang mga compound vowels. Okay, these are four. So, essentially, um, these are there are four compound vowels. Okay, so. I believe you know because how these four compound vowels are written. So these are the four. Na ako niya isuwa pinazun. So the goon ako ang pangsan ang kada character. So this first compound vowel, okay, this one. Okay. The principle is we have to make sure that the second, the second line is longer compared to the first line. Okay. This is the first vertical line, and this is shorter. Okay? But of course, this kind of size is too huge. Huh? We don't see it in, in writing. Okay? But I would just like to see you how it's done. No? So, ang primero class it is shorter compared to the second vertical. So, you're going to do it this way. Okay? So, then the second, okay, ang second bud is kanisha. So as you notice, ang ikaduha na line it is longer, while the first line is shorter. Okay, so nakita niyo ang principle when writing compound vowels, and the other two compound vowels are these compound vowels. Okay, and these compound vowels. Okay, these are uh, these compound vowels should be. Um, the, the shorter, this is the shorter, well, this is the longer, okay? The first is shorter, while the second is longer. So you have to bear that in mind. These compound vowels, okay, remember, should be written this way. Then we partner in ato sila, with ato ni na anatay, uh, we'll, we'll partner it with the EO. Okay, so we, we will have here. Okay, so this is how you're going to write. But Again, in, in your paper, okay, you can see that it's not a big font. It's not a super big Okay, and you can do the bigger you know, fonts, font size, no problem, as long as there is balance between the consonant and the vowel. Okay? But the principle is the consonant is always smaller compared to the vowel. I hope um, you will remember that when you write. So, this is our 
I think this is our fifth, no? This is our fifth um, item. So let's proceed to the another compound vowels. But in this case, class, lahi po na problema So, for example, when you write these compound vowels, okay, can you show me mga compound vowels? Also have here like this. Okay, actually, tulo ni sila ka buo. There are three. These kind of compound vowels, para guapa o mindot ang inyuhang pagsuwat, so i-bend ni siya gamay. Okay? So, you have to bend that. So, again, here. Okay? And the dili pwede class na ang ihang small line sa kani, ibutang ninyo diri no. So, I will make a bigger uh, picture for you. I'll start first with the first um, compound vowel. So, for example, this one. Okay, bend it. Okay. Right? Okay. This is correct. But this if you're going to write it this way, this is wrong. Okay? Okay, this one is correct. Well, this one is wrong. So again, when you write it, write it this way. When you and the might na horizontal line, siya. Okay? This is correct. Well, this one is wrong. So you have to write it this way, this way. So if we are going to partner it, what do we partner on Iyong? So it will be like this. Okay? So this will be your syllable now. And this is correctly written. Another, another compound vowel uh, with the same principle is this one. Okay? Now make make sure na kanisya mo bend ng mga para gawa pang ato ang character. And those sa model classing na naranasan mo, this is also okay. But para di betaw lison sa inyo ha and mas pretty po is you have it bent, okay? And another sample, another compound vowel is this compound vowel. Kanisya, okay? So, kung atuan ng Adam o Iyo, so it will be like this, and then here. And as you notice, still, the same principle, Kanisha is shorter compared to the second one. Okay? So, this is probably how you should write it. Okay? I will have a bigger picture. Okay, and we have... So, pasensya na kung dili kaysa na siya straight, ha? I would like to apologize, but uh, as I told you earlier, uh, listen you for me, in my case, ako alam po, slide mo, but I feel like the whiteboard is a bit sl a slippery. So, dili kaysa na ako makontrol ang uh, ka-straight on sa line. Okay, so, uh, this is how you're going to write it. And if you partner it with a EO, so, Character. This is wo, wo, and we also have. If we are going to, okay. And also another, kani ika dapa awit ako mo rather. So, inanians niyong pagsulat. Okay, class. So I hope these um, kind of compound vowels are clear. So very important that we have to know how to write them. So this is the fifth. For the fifth, I'm talking about the compound vowels. Okay. Now let's proceed to the sixth. So I said na unong kabuok ang ato ang ang ako ang nai-clarify. So for the sixth, na atay mga consonants class or na i mga principles lang, especially if the consonant, for example, the consonant iyo. Okay, we have mio, mio. We have pio. We have what else? Gio. And we have kio, kio. Then 
have sun, milk, and bigot. Bigot is not part of this. And what else? Um, we have uh, probably, if I remember, these are the consonants. So the principal class is when we partner, when we partner these consonant with this um, vertical vowels. Okay, mustake ni siya sa consonant, for example, or the E. Wala ba space, okay? Wala space in the right name. Okay, whereas, pag kaniya nga itong gamito, dilit sa siya mustake ha, nice space. So, kung makita ninyo, maunin yung mga consonant class ng iya hanggang may nga short line, are up facing, are, are facing, ang gamay niya, ang bubo niya na short lines are facing the consonant. So, mustik siya. But if um, it does not face the consonant, then it is a shampoo, stick. Okay? Hindi pa siya mabasa. So, ginahan ka na space. Okay? So, same with the meal. Okay, we're going to write it down. Mustik. And the B as well. Like that, but then again, this one dapat na space, okay? Another is when we write it using a with the ver a horizontal vowel na iyahang mubukay yung a straight line um, is facing upward, so it also sticks. Okay, just like that. Okay, another for the video. And, but this one, uh, this horizontal vowel does not apply, okay? Does not apply to these, okay? Okay, okay bawa ba yung taklas na hindi mali sila mo bend, no? So, pag um, horizontal vowel, they don't, they don't bend. So like that. And they don't stick, okay? Wrong mission. So, really put apply and put stick. So, but you are going to write it this way. Okay, this is how you are going to write it. Okay, this is how you are going to write it. And Okay, so as you notice, wala siya mistake ha. So, daily sad, ma-apply ang kanina principle or ang kanina rule sa kanina mga consonants. Okay, what if atuwa is mga horizontal vowel, pero ang ilahang mubo na line is nag-face downward. Okay, pag nag-face downward, so, ma-reverse po ang rule. Why? Pag mag-face downward, kanil siya din na sa dili silang mistake. Okay? So, you're going to write it like that. Okay? They don't stick anymore. Okay? Or else, dili na mabasa kung mistake sila. So, there should be space. Okay? However, sa kanina mo po ng mga consonants, mistake na po. Mutakot ba? Mutakot sila. Okay? So, this is how you're going to do it. So, you ha we have to know uh, which of the consonants na naitan din si na ang mga vertical vowels mo, mo attach sa ilaha o ang mga horizontal vowels po mo attach sa ilaha. So, in this case, Um, sa kanina example, pag ang imong horizontal vowel na natubang sa ubos ang ubo niya na short line or ang ubo niya na line, ubo na short line, di ba? Kung sa nagkita, doble na ubo niya, short pag yun. So, ang iyong short line, pag nag, nag, nag atubang sa ubos or nag-face sa ubos, so, dinig sila na space, gamay. 
However, this one, walay space. Pero pag more reverse, kanimang short line na po yung mga nag- nag- um, nag-face ha, ibaw, facing upward, kanina mga consonant, sila na po ang mo-attach. Just like what I, you know, showed you earlier. Okay? So, this is the sixth uh, clarification. And I think, class, uh, this is it for our episode one of Korean Talk. And I would like to, um, um, hopefully, I would like to know, uh, what, what do you think? Uh, so comment down below if there are things you would want to uh, clarify or about a writing handle. And um, I am very happy that I was able also to create this uh, video content para sa inyo ha, especially sa mga students na ko, na, who are learning Korean language and they base it to the things na usually na miss uh, ninyo. And even ako, I am also like a culprit of this. You know, I also commit these errors. And the thing is, um, just a disclaimer lang, I am not uh, fluent in Korean language. I'm not also expert, but I am learning Korean language as well. Um, and I am, I, I am um, doing my very best so that whatever errors I have and um, everything that I am sharing would really be like what it should be. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. This is episode one of Korean Talk. I will see you all for the next episode. So thank you so much, guys. Annyeong.